Good morning and happy new year. Good morning and happy new year. Uh, I'm Veronica and I'm the channel of Elohim and the Council and today I'm going to offer them the opportunity to speak about the energies of 2021. So let's just make sure that the uh, recording is working and then I will start just got people letting me know whether or not it's working properly. Once we know that, I will get Elohim for you. If this is your first experience, hi Rita. If this is your first experience, a welcome, welcome. I have been channeling Elohim in the Council since 2002. So it's been a, a beautiful long journey of uh, all kinds of fantastic. I'm Excuse me for looking to the side. I'm just making sure everything's working properly. And occasionally Facebook decides to work differently than um, than uh, it had the time before. So I'm just making sure it's working the way I hope it's working. So um, as I was saying, I have been channeling Elohim and the council for uh, 18 plus years now. And it's been a tremendous and beautiful journey uh, that I am so grateful for. So, so extremely grateful for. It has changed my life so profoundly. Uh, I don't even recognize the self that I was 20 years ago. And it continues. Like sometimes I'll say I don't even recognize the self of a year ago because it continues to move forward in such powerful and wonderful ways. And they always invite us to use the energy of, um, of holidays of all kinds um, to work with whatever those energies are. Like 4th of July, we talk about independence and Thanksgiving, we talk about gratitude, things like that. Here we are at the new year and it's a great time to be looking into what the possibilities are and what the openings are. So I'm going to be quiet and get them because, you know, you don't need to hear from me right now. You want to hear from them. I know. I know. <laughs> so what's going to happen is I'm going to close my eyes and you'll probably see my body shaking a little bit. That's normal. That's just me inviting additional energy into my system. Not, not anything to be concerned about. Um, I do channel Elohim with my eyes open. So my eyes should open and they will greet you and go for it. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for being part of this with me. Happy New Year. Yes, 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 yes. Hello, hello, everyone. Oh, wow. We're doing all kinds of things. <laughs> we don't normally get to see ourselves like that. That's fun. Okay. Anyway, happy new year. So you have been through it. You've been through it. 2020 was a, was a big year. Doesn't have to say it's a rough year, although it was rough for a lot of people. Um, nonetheless, no matter what, it was a big year. It was a big year energetically. It was a big year of revelation, right? It was revelatory. Uh, the, when we started 2020, our um, so summary of the energies was it's going to be a year of character. Character was revealed. And we feel like that played out. The character of you and the character of others, the character of leadership, the character of politicians and, and celebrities and all kinds of people that you hear about on the news, but also in your own communities, in your own families, and in your own self, the exploration of your character, what really matters to you, what you really feel, what is your truth, what is the foundation of the experience of you, all of that got explored and revealed and dug into and there was stimulus after stimulus after stimulus after stimulus against that system where character was what was revealed, right? It was like, it was like the waves hitting the shore and every wave coming in was a wave revealing further layers of folks' characters, further layers of who, who, who they are, what their integrity is, how they express. So that happened. And in that sense that that happened, we have now moved into, well, let's say a little bit more about that. That required contemplation, reflection. It required noticing. It required paying attention. It required opening your eyes and seeing and facing and confronting things. That's, that's hard in of itself, right? So you had this opportunity where there was this mass amount of character rev revealing experience, character revealing experience. 
And even before the COVID thing happened, there was a lot of co character revealing experience that played out in, in January and then in February and March and all these other months, all this character revealing things has occurred. Now that has been incubating. That has been incubating inside of you. And that incubation is, is time for revelate, uh, for, for, uh, expression. What does that mean? It means that you are a different being than you were a year ago. Let that sink in. You're different. Everyone is. Everyone is. Even people who aren't necessarily pushing the, you know, self-development um, uh, evolutionary path, they're different. You've been forced by circumstance into an evolutionary time. That evolutionary time has been playing out within people. And not a lot of that evolution has been expressed into your societies as of yet. Think about that. Like everyone is different. And as everyone is different, you don't have, you have not seen the effects and the results of that deep evolution that's been going on. And because that deep evolution is not yet expressed, there's all this sort of dammed up potential. Like if you think of one of those giant dams with all that water behind it, right? There's a bunch of dammed up potential that is waiting and ready to be shown into the world in whatever fashion and form that decides to take. It can be artistic. It can be writing books. It can be dancing. It can be saying, I love you to someone that you haven't said, I love you to, right? It can be, it can be, um, telling someone something that you haven't told them before. It can be admitting something to yourself that you've been afraid to admit, right? It's, it's unlimited. It's unlimited. That's the beauty of this. We're in the field of infinite possibilities. So it's an unlimited amount of things that can be offered. And so we feel it will be of quite a beautiful, creative explosion of expression in this coming uh, nine to 12 months. An expression of creativity and truth and, and clarity and ahas and insights and all those things. Added to that, <laughs> added to that, we feel the energies of 2021 are really supporting people taking a stand. So there was all that revelation about character and people really refining within themselves what is true for them and what is not true for them. And then that expression, that's taking a stand, that's saying no more of this. No more of this. Not on my watch. I won't have it. It's not okay. We feel like there's going to be a lot of that coming on where people are going to stand up and say, this is who I am. I know myself more. This is who I am. This is who I am creatively. This is who I am in relationship. This is who I am when I take a stand about things. So that's a deep invitation as well to show up in a new way to show up in a new way and find like-minded people, right? To find like-minded people that, that you can have community with around the clarities that you have, have found. We feel like that'll be another thing that people will be doing as well. They'll be, they'll be reaching into new communities and, and new gatherings of people. And sometimes those gatherings of people, you know, is going to be on the internet because there's still lots of that, that limitation about moving around going on. And that, that is legitimate right? That is a legitimate connection. In fact, a lot of times, like right now, Veronica's reminding us that we know we can't tell who's on the call and who's not, but two people who've made comments live as far flung from Veronica on the planet as really you can get. That's an, in, that, that's an example, right? You don't have to be next to someone to be in community with someone. And that's gotten realer and realer and realer and realer through this 2020 time. And in 2021, we feel like there's going to be new and powerful examples of that. We don't know what that means or what that looks like. We're talking about the energetics, not the specifics, right? So we feel like that's going to rise up new and powerful ways for people to experience community with each other that don't require them to be physically proximate to do so. 
you you've had a, a year of evolving this type of thing this i can't just see you on friday night at the pub kind of thing you've had a year of evolving that and people have gotten over to some degree the i don't want to do it this way and gotten into the okay this is the way it's done now let's be creative in this let's be creative in this not just the the only thing that we know to do right but let's be creative in how we do it and let's fix the parts of it that we just can't stand <laughs> So the invitation in 2021, again, creativity. And we really, 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 really do not want anyone to make an assumption about what the word creativity ends up physicalizing as. That would be a cruelty, right? Because if someone says, well, Elohim says we're going to be creative in 2021 and I don't like to paint, so I guess I'm not even in on it. Mm -hmm. 2021 creativity expression does not is not limited by any kind of preconceived notion that's the whole point this incubation of 2020 has given you an opportunity to birth new forms of creativity birth new forms of creativity whatever that means veronica was just watching a thing you know she likes adam lambert and she doesn't know the exact whole story here but Seems like the kids on TikTok, which is always hilarious to say, but apparently that is a thing to say. The kids on TikTok came up with this idea to turn the Ratatouille movie into a musical. And they did it. And then they got big name people, including Adam Lambert, to be the characters. But they got a bunch of young people that are doing the orchestra and, and dancing and and it, it, again, they found this way to take what, you know, normally would be like business conferencing software and turn it into an entire musical. And they've already raised a million dollars. That's what we're talking about. And that happened on the 1st of January. Such a perfect example of what 2021 energies are about. And apparently it only took them two months to pull it all together. So that's the that's the invitation that's a perfect example of the invitation that we're talking about the invitation into creativity the invitation into new examples of community the invitation into new ways of connecting the invitation into what has been incubating in you expressing in the physical without using limitation and preconceived notions what we call personality without using personality to filter that expression but instead allowing for that expression to come out of you and recognizing that the way that expression is coming out of you is brand new and therefore cannot be evaluated using your old evaluation systems. Let it out without deciding ahead of time what it's about and believe in yourself. all kinds of amazing ways of re-engaging with the world are being supported energetically by the energies of 2021. Now, sometimes the way people decide to re-engage with the world is not going to make any sense to you. And we're not just talking about like when Veronica goes to the Museum of Modern Art and she's like, I don't get that. What is that? What, why is that on the wall? I'm not, we're not just talking about that. Although there's going to be some of that, right? Human beings run around the planet afraid. And because people run around the planet afraid and they're constantly coping with fear and the, and, and the reality of death that makes things difficult, they behave in ways that are reactive rather than reflective in an unfortunate amount of the time right and so you have a reactive rather than reflective engagement with the world as a pretty standard human uh stance and that means that with the energies of 2021 supporting 
externalization of what's inside, on some level, there's going to be externalization of fear. And that's why the folks that are not running around externalizing their fear are so important to balance out that. You know, and you see this, those of you who have children, when they're, when they're small and they throw temper tantrums, it's an externalization of discomfort of some kind, right? Maybe not specifically fear, but an externalization of discomfort. And they want something, you know, they need soothing and they don't know how to get it. And so they temper tantrum or whatever they do. When you're an adult and it really is about fear, not just a wet diaper, right? But actual fear, fear that I can't feed my kids, fear that I'm going to get evicted, fear that the world is going in a direction that scares me, right? Lashing out based in fear can be one of the ways folks externalize their internal experience. It is helpful, we have found, to remind yourself that that is a frightened person, not to justify or excuse their choices, but to help you find common ground even with someone that you cannot easily find common ground with. Because when you start with a bit of common ground, we have told people for many years now, sometimes you have to go all the way down to we both breathe. We both need air to survive, right? Sometimes that's as, you have to go all the way to that point for common ground. It helps to start with some common ground. Otherwise, there's rejection out, hand, out of hand. Again, not to excuse poor behavior or illegal behavior. That's not our intention at all. It is important to recognize that reacting to fear rather than responding to challenge can look really messy. And when someone looks really messy, the invitation within you is to start at, that person's really afraid. I know I've been afraid, so I know what fear feels like. My intention is to not react from fear, rather respond to the fear I feel by choosing my reaction to the experience I'm in. So let any news that you see of people who are re reacting from fear and allowing the fear that's inside of themselves to be the externalization, let that help you remember to check those impulses within yourself, to take an extra moment, to take a deep breath before responding to any situation that feels challenging and to find within yourself compassion for your own default to fear that happens to be part of the homo sapien journey because you have a survival instinct. It also gives you compassion for the journey of others. That whole walk a mile in their shoes thing, right? That's likely to be a difficult part of 2021. This is a difficult part of 2020. It doesn't go away just because calendar turns. You look into your world and there are people that have extraordinarily vastly different positions on things that, that you are all experiencing simultaneously. So this is not a surprise. We're just not going to pretend or hide from it. Okay. Wow. Okay. <laughs> wow. Veronica saw something on Facebook today. We're not going to tell you exactly what it was, but one of those things that people post on Facebook where she was like, I cannot really grasp how absolutely opposite our feelings are about that subject that we both are sharing. And so this is a great reminder for her because she got disturbed by that, but didn't actually have a real constructive response to it. Not, we're not talking about typing on Facebook. We're talking about an internal response. And the reminder is to remember that everyone's in fear. Okay, you're in fear. You're human. It's, it, it, it's just reality. Okay, so you start with they're in fear. And they're coping as best as they can. And they're looking for information that backs up their position and finding it. Okay. All right. You cannot necessarily have a big impact on that person. 
what you can do is use that as a reminder to reflect upon your own position. What is my own position about this? What is my own clarity? What is my own choice? And use it to refine and clarify and remind yourself of your own position rather than dwell on the position of another that you cannot have an effect on. But it can be draining to you. And continue to do that so that you continue to be in investing and improving and evolving your own self rather than saying why do they think that way what do, haven't they read any why are what are you know what news are they looking at blah 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 reflect 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 so 2021 new types new opportunities for creativity new opportunities for connection and community in ways that that didn't exist even a year ago uh What's been inside incubating, having an opportunity to be experienced externally, even though you don't want to make any assumptions about what that has to look like or how that has to show up, right? Be careful about that. When other people's externalization is something that makes no sense to you, especially if it's something that's coming from a fear and anger, recognize you feel fear and anger as well. And you have an opportunity to make sure that you're checking in on how you're handling your fear and anger. Let their expressions of fear and anger remind you to check in on how you're handling your fear and anger. And when the time comes and clarity arises, stand your ground, speak your peace. Because that's another externalization. All right. Those are the energies of 2021 as we feel them at this time. So happy new year to all of you. Uh, many blessings. And uh, let it show. Let it show what's inside you, what has grown inside you. Let it show. <laughs>